Sword, <laughs> Sword Coast Soundscapes. Find them on YouTube. Do I have any? <clears throat> okay. So where we left off, so in, in part one, we had just finished uh, an encounter in Scrooge's past in his schoolhouse when he was a little boy. And you guys were able to successfully and rather quickly deal with that confrontation. You do recall uh, simple details. Uh, that's when Scrooge got the book that you had found on his desk, the purple book with the runes. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, purple book with the necromancy runes. You, you recognize that. Scrooge is uh, trying to become a lich. Uh, looks looks like his spell book. And good luck, pal. That's a twenty percent chance. You had just returned to his bedroom. The spirit of Christmas past has departed, and Scrooge lay down to go to sleep again. You guys have the option of a short rest or just standing around, because you're still immaterial. Can't touch nothing. You can touch each other, but nothing else. Can't interact with the environment. So you've got choices. You can stand there and wait for the next thing, or you do have time, because the, the previous spirit did say another spirit was coming. So you have time for a short rest if you want to do a short rest. Not badly or were you injured? I mean, not, I... Not terribly. Yeah. You guys actually escaped that one pretty cleanly. I took some thing image. Did you? you? What? Well, yeah, that was that was from somebody's freaking nasty, wave. Uh, nasty wet fart. Uh, which <laughs> which one of you? Was that Burr's or Actually, E minor? Both my guys are down. Na nasty wet down. bottom burp. He's down six points mm -hmm. and Burson's down 14. All right, so, so I think short restable will be so that way you can burn some hit dice and recover. And for, for anybody that recovers abilities on a short rest, I don't don't recall entirely what was used, but uh, if you want to take a, do not. If you want to take a short rest, you may do so. I short still rest. have all of my wild shapes. your choice. Other people are, so you're all going to be sitting around regardless. So, he short rest for points. both of yours. Use your hit dice if you want. Yeah. Uh, GM tip. I did not burn my... My, oath, or my channel divinity, but... Yeah, both mine will take short rest, just because. One in a row, why not? So everybody, everybody sits down on the floor, I assume? Uh, that's, yep. that's part of what taking a short rest is. Yep. Well, stopping, doing nothing, then you can have conversations and whatnot, read, whatever you do. You are, you are generally resting or relaxing for an hour. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can poke Scrooge with my mall. Nope. Dang it! Worked on the child. You getting there or you having issues? He's getting there. I was deciding if I wanted to Oh, I'm just go those last three points and burn another one. It, it, it sounded like you were maybe rolling a little low. And, right. First one was high, second one was mm -hmm. high. enough. I'm back up to four. Okay. Yeah, we dispatched with the, the fiend before the cleric could do channel divinity and turn undead. You're very lucky those things never made contact. 
<laughs> Could have been a very different fight if even one of them got in. So anyway. <clears throat> so an hour, a little more than an hour goes by. And as you're sitting there, you guys conversing or just kind of waiting. What, what, what you, I know you're actually actively trying to heal. Yeah. What are the rest of you doing? We've already tried interacting with the environment and failed. <laughs> Good try. Just, uh, just the once, you know, just like poke. Like I said. Yeah. I'm singing the theme from uh, Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, let it I go. I figured. the cleric and paladin and ask, do spirits usually mess with reality itself in this realm? Well, you see, you got your threefold interdimensional cross rip here. <laughs> so, if it's a class five full roaming vapor. <laughs> Thanks, Egon. I was present at a mass undersea sponge migration. <laughs> I like cheese. Nothing wrong with that. That's why there's lots there. Mm -hmm. Cheese often likes people back in many ways. <laughs> in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're, I want the, the question was. What do we know about the the ghosts or the spirits that tried to? Which well, okay, hold on. Which the ones that we just finished fighting? The fiends. Yeah. Uh, nothing really. They were focused nobody's, on terminal repeating no, phantasms. <laughs> nobody's done anything to try to identify or whatever. Well, uh, would I know? No, I wouldn't. I, I'm not uh, proficient <laughs> in nature or a religion, so. It would be a religion or an arcana check if anybody wanted to try. Uh, I suck at both. I'll do an arcana check. It's religion. It's going to be up there a ways. Ooh, my arcana is plus six. <clears throat> yeah, not for my, uh... <laughs> sad. With an eight. Got a ten. Nothing springs to mind. Yeah. I might as well roll just to see what. Okay. Which one, cleric? Straight oh. roll. Yeah. Uh, Raja got a twenty-two. Hmm. <laughs> Raja was your Dex cleric. Got Paladin. A Paladin. Paladin. Both got thirteen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> They are, or rather were, just for people's reference. Oh, there you go. There we go. A little bit more right. surface area. Yep. That was those. Wow. Those yep. Are the lies. That's right. what we just defeated. It's called a lie. It is something of a fiend. Um, you could have done a turn undead on it, probably would have worked. So they're considered undead still? Yeah. Okay. Probably would have worked. And you do recall, let me pull the thing up here to get my house. Previous. They are undead monsters that tend to want to suck the life out of you. You. Really unsettling. Do not let them touch you. 
Yeah. Undead. Very evil. They, they tend to, s- to sap away strength. Your strength. Specifically your strength. My strength is all I've got! Says the barbarian. You know that if they get it low enough, they'll kill you. If, if they suck enough of your strength away. Okay. <clears throat> they'll keep sapping away your strength until there's nothing left except an empty shell. I remember from last game. Yep. Who wants copy? No. Milk, cream, sugar? Yes, blend and sweet, please. Okay. The cream that I have is peppermint mocha. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Do you know you cannot get half and half? Yeah, you can. Go to the store and buy it. Yeah. I heard there's like this supply chain problem with half and half. Oh. Are you trying to buy the little cups? Or are you just going to buy a quarter half and half out of the cooler case at the grocery store? Well, I was <clears throat> I was just at the restaurant and the guy said, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, they may be having supply chain yeah, problems. Yeah, they might. The restaurant. Yeah. Grocery store's got it. Yeah. There's, Trump has it. No problem. Interesting. It's in the cold case next to the gallons of milk. Remember, restaurants don't go to the grocery stores to get nope. their supplies. They've got a food truck that delivers. So he's pre- basically saying he can't get the little cups. Yeah. Whatever yeah. delivery service he goes through doesn't have them. Whatever whatever food service. It was really weird. I, I got into town 3 a.m. Thursday morning. My flight got delayed. The, uh, I won't go into the details. Anyway, Steve and I end up at... Oh, thank you so much, Faye. End up at uh, the Pancake House down there by Mall of America. I'll let you put your own chair in. And uh, I asked the guy, you know, why can't... Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. Um, Within all. Where's the half and half? He goes, well, you, we can't get it. And then this poopy pants bum came up to me and started, you know, talking smack. It was real interesting. Thing. Anyway. No. So... You've done your rests. You're recalling about the undead. The lies. Those undead. <clears throat> they tend to be servants. They don't run things. You do recall that. And while you're all having that conversation, the fireplace starts shaking. Oh, there we go. Violently. Round two. Oh. A giant man. I've got this. Comes out of the fireplace. Down the chimney. Ah, He is tall. Towers. He has to bend over to be in this room. That's why he's on one knee in that pose. Um, He's wearing hunter's leathers. He has some kind of leafy or vegetation crown kind of thing going on. Like a laurel wreath? Holly. Well, I don't know about laurel, but... I think the battery's done. Give it here. Wherever it is. Take three. Anything? Bueller. Two pence. I want them for two pence. Bueller.
Any tongues? No, that's right. Okay. Oh, I just, I was loading everything out, I forgot to grab the little mini tongs I usually put there. The meat and cheese tray. Now I'm gonna get some of those nachos. Mm. <laughs> oh, nachos? I haven't put up the Stubby. Nachos! Did you break? Yeah. Hey, you knew the reference. What if Cookie Monster liked meatballs instead of cookies? They're totally cheap. Meatballs. Meatball Monster. Do anything for meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> so, big guy comes down the chimney, chimney shakes violent. Yay. Right, right. Oh, he kicks the creosote log out of the way. <sighs> He cracks a big, big smile. Glances at all of you over there. Turns to the bed. Scrooge jumps up, sitting up in bed. Crap, no, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> uh oh. How'd you get in here? There you go. Giant's booming voice rattles out. He says, Excellent, you're up. There's little time, old miser. You must come with me. Runs over to the wall, doesn't run, walks over to the bed, which is a short span of time for him because he's very tall. Grabs Scrooge by the hand, dragging him out of bed towards the doors to the balcony. Scrooge is protesting, and he says, Come now, you should know what's happening. I'm the spirit of the present, at your service. And we're headed to the sad, sad home of the man in your sad employ. He turns looks at all of you and says, hurry along now or you'll be left behind. Starts moving towards the doors. Follow. Dragon Scrooge. <clears throat> Follow. All the way. Follow. As he walks past you guys, the tail of his long green cloak stretches out behind him and it's long. Longer than it should, should seem to me to be even for a man of his stature. He throws open the doors. Scrooge is now not being dragged so much as he's trying to hurry a bit to keep up with the big man. They go out onto the balcony. He looks at Scrooge. He look, glances at all of you and he says, hold tight now. Grab on. To his cloak. cloak. I grab on uh, to uh, to some of the, the hairs, just uh, some of his uh, his beard, his long beard, tail. Yeah. <laughs> his long, uh, his beard, just uh, just fly up and grab onto the beard. I can scent the claws. Okay. He's gonna <laughs> smack you around. What are you doing? <laughs> Grab the uh, I have it. of his coat or whatever Cloak. he's got. Yeah. I have an impulse control right. problem. No sooner do you, uh, one of you and one of you get hold of the cloak, the last couple, he leaps from the balcony, flying through the air. Scrooge is flying with him, and all you holding on are basically being dragged. You're, you're not you're not floating. This isn't like a Superman movie. You can't read right. his mind. Superman posing anyway. Yeah. 
It's like a bull <laughs> hanging on to the plane. <laughs> Furs him is. He's got his boots that carry up the back of him, so he's just like... A couple of you noticed that even though Scrooge is not screaming, hair ornaments. he seems terrified. And just to make this interesting... Scrooge loses control of his bowels. <laughs> no, just to make this interesting and to, to get Ben into the spirit of things since he wasn't here for the last session. Everybody make me an acrobatics check. Oh, oh no. For Christ's sakes. <laughs> All right, even the flyer. I love it. I've got zero. Well, Nat 20. Everybody did say, quite specifically, they are grabbing on to something. Nat 20. I heard you. I failed. How do you know? I haven't told you what you need to hit yet. Well, a uh, seven is obviously... Would I mean, that include your acrobatics bonus, whatever it is? I don't have one. Yes, you do. You're oh, right. that's zero. You might not. <laughs> I, kept thinking of your, I kept thinking of your rogue. <laughs> yeah. so it's better than the negative one, got my friend. You got a negative one. No. He got uh, 14. I got a plus okay. one. 14. Okay, natural 20 for a total of... Uh, 23. Okay. Uh, Paladin got a 14, and the Cleric got a natural one. <laughs> oh! For a total of... Two. Okay. Getting bashed by all of these chimneys along the way. Ah! Oh my Pine all right. So, a Sorcerer, a Cleric, and somebody else rolled low. I rolled a 14. I had a 14. 14. You had a 14 and a... Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Cleric and the Sorcerer both miss. Don't get a hold of the cloak. Whoops. Uh -oh. oh, no. It's all right. The Cleric knows where it is. and So as you're reaching for it, Cloak is now billowy, <coughs> buttery, whatever, as he's leaping off the railing of the balcony. Or not, well, railing, I suppose. Um, you actually get caught up in it. Excuse me. So you're you're kind of twisted, tangled in it. Your cleric is. Okay. As that's happening, you get caught in that same thing, and you're twisted, tangled in it too. So you are literally being dragged. You Keelhaul. you by an arm, and you as it turns out by a leg. <laughs> Wait, so I'm like, ah! <laughs> am I right side up or upside down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope you were wearing the brown pants. Bring me my brown pants, yes. So, suffice it to say, one way or another, you all get caught up. You are now flying through the air with this man. He's not saying a word. Scrooge is not screaming, but he is obviously terrified. He's The look on his face, the way he's grabbing at the guy's arm, he is not happy. How fast would you say he's going? Like my uh, my flight speed? A little more. A little bit more. A little over. Okay. You, you've you've gone this fast before, but only with assistance. <coughs> only with what? Assistance. Ah. So you're flying over town from the top of the hill. He doesn't go down. He's just out. So now you're you're leaving Scrooge's third floor balcony. You leave the top of the hill. You're over the town, which is down there a ways. You're looking at rooftops covered in snow. If it wasn't for the fact that there's some really weird crap going on in this town, it actually looks kind of nice from up here. If you didn't know that the town was basically being laid waste and whatnot, you wouldn't think there was anything wrong here if you were just flying over. So, as you get over the town... Scrooge finally starts screaming because now he's not falling a few feet. He's falling possibly a hundred and something. He is, he's lost it. He's screaming. Screaming bad. As you're flying over the town, you head towards something of a familiar section. And as you get over there, the spirit now angles down, not sharply, but he's going down quick. And you land with a thump, literally. <laughs> Boom. Oh. 
And I activate my cloak ability. And you land on a snowy street. And it's a familiar street. The one we started off at. You've been here. You recognize a house. You also recognize the fact that the two of you who failed your acrobatics check to five points. Oh. <coughs> Thumping into the... Instead of landing on your feet, more or less, you smacked into the street. As we're uh, as we're descending, I'm gonna just be putting uh, I'm gonna be druid crafting a whole bunch of flowers into the spirit's beard. Because yeah, Christmas. Little tiny flowers. So before you, you see the large window of the Cratchit House, the place where you were initially delivered all of those. Uh, Medicinal herbs earlier. Cratchit House. wants to know why. No! He was brought there. What are we doing here? This will be your doom, Scrooge. In the spirit. Right. Oh. Can I help you with something? No, I just... Oh. Just one, just, no cheating. I'm, I'm not. I, just, I will kill your ass in a heartbeat. You'll no, 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 my okay. materials again. This guy likes people. No. This one don't. Oh no, dude! <laughs> seriously. I haven't been rolling that one. I've been using this one. Well, I already got you <laughs> hauled into the cobblestones. <laughs> you just talked into the street. <laughs> So hard right, that he lost his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so Scrooge is yelling at the spirit, why are we here, why are we here? The spirit doesn't say a word. Instead, they just come up here. Almost like they're looking in the window. Ow! And as they draw closer to the glow from the window, Partly because of the big guy there, it's almost like the light dims. You can't see most of the window now. Big dude's standing there. Now that he is standing, he big. 12 feet. Close. Giant class. He, 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 here, by comparison, Ben, your character takes up a square on the map. It's five feet. He takes up four. Ten by ten. Ay ay ay. If the Lakers ever need help. He's big. <laughs> He's big in every sense of the word. So Scrooge is trying to look into the window. The spirit's just gesturing to the window. Scrooge is trying to look in, can't see. He grabs a sleeve of his night robe because he's still in his night gear had little nightcap and all. He's trying to clean the window, but it's kind of foggy from the inside, the condensation a little bit. He's trying to clean the window to see in and can't. But even with a little bit of snow coming down, the street starts to rumble. I need, uh, because I forgot now. Combat positions? No. I had previously written down pieces of information. And that's not the information.
But just for giggles, let's do two things here. Uh, I don't have your character. That works. I would like everyone to roll a perception check. And tell me what your passive perception is. Paladin, passive perception is 13. Which character is that? Paladin. Raja. Thank you. 15, you said? 13, passive. Mine's 13 as well. And his active is 21. Okay. Uh, Cleric Maya, passive is 17. And active is 11. Okay. What'd you roll? A 2. Plus whatever. 3. Plus 4, 5. Perception is plus 6. Okay, is it? so 8. And then his passive is 13. Okay. Which yeah, is... I already got that. Uh, passive is 15. Active is 13. She's a roll. Like Passive that. is 16. Okay. Dice, uh, Active is 20. Like that. Sucks. Okay. He just rolled just a passive 16. He rolled a. Got that to the other side of it. Converge from his passive hey, 17. Went to combat and so he rolled an 18. That's just a few details. Okay. okay. That's okay. <laughs> well, what did you roll? Horseshit, horse right? Eight? Eight. <laughs> and Raja rolled... Raja rolled a 20... Something, right. <laughs> Took a dig to okay. head. <laughs> so, everybody but... The, 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 the tri 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 over here, um, notices the snow in the street in a few spots... The rumbling coincides with some apparent movement under that snow. It's a combination of rolls and passive perception. Because some of your passes weren't high enough. Everybody rolled well except for you. So you don't necessarily, I mean, you feel the rumbling and everything, you don't notice the snow in a couple of spots. Is I just smacked my head on. The I mean, street. it's like it's like. Uh, uh, oh, ha have you ever seen a mouse burrowing under the snow, like yeah. fresh snow? How it kind of hops up a little bit, and yeah. leaves a little trail. This is similar, except it's going up, and then the vibrations make it come down again, and it's going up in a different spot, and it seems to be localized. It's not fast, but it's happening. It's percolating in a couple of spots around the street. Okay. Y'all, except you, notice that. Um, also, along with that, some of the street lights seem to flicker like they're going to go out. Maybe. It's not windy. Well, not any more than it was before, which was negligible, actually. Light snow falling, but the lights are flickering as though they're going to blow out. And as you're noticing that, it took me seven tries to get these goddamn things right. Because I kept having trouble with them. Now the phone begins. No, it's not you. Screw you with the size of them. Footprints you saw on the roof earlier? Yeah, those uh, those jerks. Uh -oh. Those rumbling spots in the snow, those arise. As they rise out of the snow, the light from the couple of lanterns on the street essentially shoots into one of three black spinning orbs on top of the backpack on the skeleton's back. Each one of them has one. The 
orb, it's black, but you'd almost swear it's spinning. And it's hovering above the pack, it's not attached to it. Uh, are we talking like uh, spinning uh, just two-dimensional, or are we spinning. talking... Spinning. Okay. Spinning. Like a top spins, it spins. Okay. Ow. I hate this chair. But I know what these beings are. <clears throat> are you gonna look? Can I like, roll an arcana check or something? Yeah. Try and identify them. Last ones were undead. I need to know if these are. Well, they're skull. Is that an arcana check? That. Okay. They've got shovels. They've oh, got... they're just here to clean the street. Never mind. It's the roof tops, actually. Remember, the, yeah. we got pummeled by snow? Looking at it, those shovels seem to be wide enough. Oh. I, uh, I'm i uh, I'm getting angry. Well, I'm these getting are perfectly fine. You get They're angry. okay. <laughs> Already, I'm, uh, I'm hovering at, uh, with my hummingbird wings, just like... Scrooge felt, turned, saw as did the spirit, and they're just standing there. However, I need all of you in to roll initiative. Oh, jeez. There we go. So I'm afraid. Yes, I did. Yes! I get advantage on initiative rolls. Oh, the uh, speaker's on if you yeah, want to I'm throw take something the first one. Ah. Take your time. Excellent. Taking of your time. All right. Everybody rolled initiative? Yep. 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 Okay. I need... I still got to roll. Oh, that's good. Ooh. A 20. For one of them, I'm running two tunes. So, my egg is good. Fuck yeah. Just the 21. <laughs> That's not good. The paladin gets a wonderful 10. Fuck yeah. America. All right. Where's my... Is that Team America? Yeah. Maya. 21. Daxon. 21. Raja. Uh, Raja was 10. Burzum. Uh, 11. Trezana. 16. I think I pronounced that correctly. Pretty sure you got the better decks, though. E minor. 2. 21. Yeah, I'm a plus har, har. Har, har. Har, har. Har. 13. <laughs> Start the encounter. Daxon, you're up. All right. Uh, well, you see these giant skeletons with the backpacks, the spinning black spear. Okay, I just, I just carrying the I giant like shovel. This dude. So, uh, yeah. Do I recognize the, the footprints that they make? I don't even know the spells. Based on their skeletal so feet and the size. Yeah. Spells. Oh, these guys. These guys are jerks. Okay, like, like, like you I, I already kind of identified. That shovel looks about big enough to make the tracks in the snow on the roof. That you'd seen earlier. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, going to say these were the guys yeah. that that snow blinded us. Sure. I'm. Uh, I would like to rage. Ting, ting, ting. Okay. And uh, I'm going at. Uh, I'm going uh, to zoom for the one that's straight behind us. Combat ones, 
on the cantrips. Two, so that three more in the cantrip class to choose. Oh, it's okay. All, All right, right, man. I can swear I had one for raging. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one. Okay. Now that I'm the first level. You're alphabetical. Alright, right, so you're raging, you move up. I move up and I'm going Which one are you moving up to? Uh, one, to in the back? Okay. one in the back. One behind. Yep. Yep. And I'm going uh, to uh, take uh take his kneecaps with sure the, my that. with my maul. Huh? Give me a second. from there, but if I do it from there, it'll blow the encounter out. Uh, what is a Shardalon stride? <clears throat> I also need to mark the somehow... Is it in the left? Oh, I'll just have to remember. So you're going at the one in the back? Yep. What are you doing? Uh, aiming for his patella. Okay. Move in, Chris. Roll me a hit. Okay. All right. Using your maul, I assume? Yes. Yeah. And that is a 22 to hit. Hits. Roll damage. All right. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. And oh, um, hang on. There was one more thing because it's a bludgeoning weapon that I'm attacking with. Uh, once per turn, when I hit a creature with That's an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, I can uh, move it five feet. To an unoccupied space, provided that the target is no more than one cent. Oh, he's size. He's, large. he's two sizes larger than you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and a tiny small. Well, when I, I first thought about this, I was like, well, they're probably yeah. going to be size medium. Yeah, probably, sure, probably, probably, <laughs> probably, 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 probably. Anyway, all right. Uh, anything else? Uh, move, bonus action, attack. That's all. Alright. Oh, come on. It's all ye faithful. Thank you. Lost my mouse for a moment there. E! Yes. Uh, what you doing? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Alright. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there he is. I can power this. Oh, see that... Part of the story. guy. So that's a roof here? Yep. You're, you're standing in the street. Those are buildings All around. Right, gotcha. Now I'm going to have to move through some people here. Five, ten. I'll move right there. Okay. And I'll shoot that motherfucker. Yeah! <laughs> my bow. Okay. Roll it. Roll it. No. Seriously, give me back my freaking mouse. Seriously, no. That is a 27 to hit. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Nice! Natural 19. Damn! I would say it hits. All right, that is 26 plus 5. That is 6 plus. Sneak attack. Yeah. 6, 7, 8, 15 plus 10 is 8. 14. Points of damage. Ooh. Owie. From a short bow? Yep. Alright. Sneak attack. Plus Ken's eye weapon. Yeah. Bonus action. Shoot again. Okay. Because <laughs> I can, but my yes, you can. Ken's eye weapon. Roll it. Oh. 
Oh, that's a natural one. You managed to hit a fairy between the wings. <laughs> no, oh, break. It, it definitely goes wide. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. excited on that second shot. I love that movie. So <laughs> Anything else? Sure. All right. Maya. All right. You're up. Oh, Maya. Oh, fuck yeah. Maya. Boy, did I get this one right. Burning a first level spell slot, casting Bane on all three of them. Ooh. What's the range limitation on that? Uh, they need to make a cost or a range. Oh, range? 30 feet. From you? From her, yeah. Are we lucky enough? Let's double check the math. Is I'm it line sure. of sight? Do you have to, no. be, have to be seen? No, it's area. So you don't Let's have see, to see them. To Hold on. So you don't have to see them to be able to hit them with it. Does not say no. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. So thirty feet from. Oh wait, three creatures that you can see. Yep. Yeah. Uh, where are you? She. Yeah, right here. Right, right there. She um, would have been looking forward, so it'd actually just be those two. <laughs> she can kind of sort of see that one. Well. No, she can move. definitely see that one. Down. And now she can. She can see those too. Alright. Bane on both of them then. Here. Since you're up. Absolutely. Well, let's make them do their saving throws first. What's the save? Uh, it is a charisma save. 15. <laughs> I can do this the easy way. I don't know how much charisma skeletons get. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <that. laughs> Hey, baby, I like your... Well, eight minus three is five, and three minus three is zero. Nice. That's hey. a success. Minus three is... Five. I mean, that's a fail. <laughs> nope, you can't see that one. It's behind the house. Oh. But you can see the one at the end of the street. Okay. Hey, man. All right. That will be her, and she'll stay right there. All right. Nothing else? Nothing else. That's the end of her turn. All right. Bane, Bane. Point of detail. Yes. On a, there's a, a, a small blue, like, I don't know, what would you call it? Does that indicate the level of, of spell slot, that second, third, third? Right. Okay. That's what I thought. Because I got really happy when it said seventh level down here, so I don't know what that. You've is. got a seventh level no, spell. No, 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 no. I just, I, I, I was. It's up casting. Uh, I think it, that's what he's looking at. Oh yeah. yeah, if you cast the spell at higher level, so if you cast it at a seventh level, it gets that benefit. <laughs> he doesn't have seventh level spells, so you can't that's do a good it. Point. Today. Yeah. There should be yeah. a, a a community college class for this because <laughs> there is. It's called experience. <laughs> Yeah, actually, right. called doing it, man. actually, it's called reading the book. Yeah. I, I went to public school. I never heard of it. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn? Nope. Okay, well, then that's it a is point their point turn. as well. <laughs> it is their turn. And just to make sure, yeah, I did have it right. All right, so. That's a damn well, good couple. This whole coffee. thing. These two Chill. have turned, and Scrooge is actually trying to cower behind the big guy. If you get another one for yourself, what do you think you want? <sighs> I forgot what their movement was. I could just get you one. Oh, thanks. Yep. I did not forget. I just wasn't sure. You look like snow to me. <laughs> I will shuffle you. <laughs> Imagine how large that shovel really is. They smacked you in the face with it. <laughs> Scoop up two, three. Why? Wow. Oh, it's flat <laughs> like a pancake. I've seen guys get hit with shovels before. <laughs> it's no. It's Go. Ding. <laughs> yeah. He moves right there. Ooh. <coughs> 
opportunity attack? No. Opportunity attack happens when they move away from you. Oh. Unless you got the one feet though. For pole arm, that lets yep. you get them when they get into <clears throat> range. Pole arm. Oh, you happen to get in range? <coughs> Uh, so Check them on the boards. You know? That is standing right in front of you. Yay. And it wheels back with that shovel. I'm not much of a hockey player. Does an 18 hit your armor class? Yeah. Where the hell is my guy? Oh, there he is. Good luck, Dallas. 13 points. From a shovel. <laughs> Ding. But like there's no free. It's like those guys from Running Man. <laughs> what if I cast shield? Can I do that? As a, it eats up your As a reaction? reaction? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm going to cast shield. That's a first level, right? Yep, yeah. first level spell. So I got that slot, adds five to your AC, so. Makes your AC an 18. It still hits. Yeah. Oh. So it's not worth it. save the spell slot. Yeah. Not worth it. Right. So, 13 points damage you took, and it's standing there. Jury to mark off 13 damage? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. One take. And the second one. To take a swing at the paladin. Righteous. With that big shovel. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, does a 22 hit? A 22 will definitely hit. <laughs> Four. Damn, 23 points. Ooh. Nice. Dang. That was a nine and a ten. Well, he will be taking a short rest at the next <laughs> time. <laughs> that is if we get a short rest. <laughs> Jimmy Crumpets. Assuming I survive to the next encounter, I will gladly pay you a Tuesday. Or a There's a reason I dug this thing out and set it here. <coughs> oh, yeah, he gave us healing, uh, healing pouches. Yeah. Two healing potions and a healing pouch. Yeah, somewhere in your inventory should be a, 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 a pouch, a potion pouch, that has two small healing potions in it. All right, oh. All right. I'm so uh, far behind you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. It's okay. Did you roll the mine? Wow. What? Let's be it for Bane. Did you it's not going to make a difference, but four. yeah, exactly. Oh, is it minus D4 for, for, right, for, right, right, for Bane? Bane. Yeah. Uh, one point. Yeah. So the 22 is a 21. No, no, no. It would have been for the to hit roll, not the damage. Right. The 22 is a 21. The yeah, damage is still would have hit. Damage is 23. The 22, the lowest I could have gotten is 8. Uh, still beats his armor. Damage was 23 points. All right. Okay, so what are we? What was the potion thing? You may not have it because I haven't gotten to your character yet. Oh, okay. You have two healing potions. Just okay. keep that in the back of your head. All right. Uh, let, oh, Jesus. I forgot. Uh, they were both in order. Uh, who's that little fairy standing in front of him? <laughs> Who are you calling a fairy? Oh, wait. Calling you a fairy, a fairy. Uh, Who are you called a fairy? <laughs> Does that make the skeleton Will Smith? Wait, no, hold on. Who are you calling little? <laughs> Does a 16 hit? Yep, it hits. Constitution of uh, please, plus please, three. Please. Yeah, that ain't bad. 14 points. 14 points of damage? Yep. All right. Uh, reduced because of... Uh, <coughs> because of rage, it is bludgeoning. So half of your seven, seven. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, and that's him. I'm still golden. Trezana, just you're up. Wipe off a little bit of blood. It's you, man. I don't. Know. <clears throat> I gotta figure out. That big shot. Okay, so if I, I do this, 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 I can make that guy go from. <laughs> if he fails, you ain't no oh, Smith. <laughs> It's called a great shovel. I can, I can great sense it no, as opposed to a great sword. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, it is a great shovel. <laughs> it's so great. Didn't take me down. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. And I'm probably going to call yeah. you for that. Uh, someone straight line. It's oh, everything oh, 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 oh. See what it's happens when you read your character sheet? <laughs> <laughs> your turn's coming. Um, it could do Shadow Blade, but that doesn't do much, does it? Well, let's start off with. Take up my talk. that okay <clears throat> here we go I'm doing shadow blade on that dude so and it's a pathetic eight miss Damn. you swing wide very wide so it's a big guy have, with spindly still have legs shadow blade that's gonna stay with you for the next minute it's a sword basically right right so I, I tick off no the way this works I tick off on my actions I tick off a spell slot yep Okay, that or under spells, you can just click on cast and it'll do it for you. That's true. So, shadow blade, not cast. Okay. And then up here. Are you going to move or do anything else? I'm going. Other, other than swing and miss. I'm going to move out of the way of that shovel. I get to, why'd you do that? Swing better at that. Sorry. Right. I'm going to move. Hey, Macarena. Okay. Um. I'm going to fade out <coughs> laterally to the right as far as I can. All right, make your move. Okay, you got a standard 30-foot movement, so six squares. Okay. I can't even see the damn stairs. One, two, three, four. And that's a roof, isn't it? Yeah, it's a building. Yeah, that's right a roof, there. unless you're going to climb. Basically, in a you're standing alleyway. in a street. Yeah. Okay. We're in a kill zone. Oh, yep. boy. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'll do that. There you go. All right. Okay. Cowards behind everybody. <laughs> sorcerers, man. Uh, There's only so much you can do uh, when, you, uh, when you're a squishy bean like a sorcerer. I think. I'm not blaming you. You were within 10 feet. I'm not judging. I'm judging. <laughs> At least he's honest and rap me. You're trying to grease me up with you're not saying nothing here. You were with him. Totally There's downsides uh -oh. to every class. Is he wearing armor? There we go. Just out of curiosity. I see his AC is 10. So I don't think he's got armor selected if he actually has it. <coughs> I don't think he has armor. Sorcerers? You don't have armor? Yeah. Okay. Bro, what? Yeah. Does a 26 hit? What? You I can have armor? I don't know. I'm just asking. It says here your AC is 10, so I'm just asking. Just making sure that it didn't get overlooked or something. <clears throat> trying to be go fair. Through, go through your inventory, see if you got any armor. No. no I don't know. Sorcerers can't. Right, look for, for um, anything that could be applied as weapons or armor. Oh, All right, so enough. then I go back to the original question Does a 26 hit? Oh yeah, 26 is definitely Okay, good. 26 hits. Damage is... You lucked out, you little... 12 points. Well, a that's... whole whopping 12 points. Well, who hit me with a shovel? Oh, because... When you moved you away moved from up, dude, you moved yeah. out of his reach. He took his reaction to take yeah, an opportunity attack. Like darn flip, 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 So you made, your, you made your move. Are you done with your turn? Or is there yes. anything else you want to do? Okay. I get hit for five points on the head, bouncing Mimson. down the street. I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt. At? Yeah. At the guy right in front of me. Uh, okay. Would that be a disadvantage? Uh, technically? What, you think it because of range? Is it a ranged attack or does it require Cast, saving throw? It's a spell, right? Chaos Bolt's a spell. Does it require a d20 to roll the hit? Yes. Then. Yeah, it'd be disadvantage. Are you a warcaster? You have a warcasting no. feat. Then, yeah, it'll be a disadvantage. You can still do it if you roll these and it won't die. Whichever one's lower. Yeah, 13. Plus any uh, attack bonus? Six. So, 19? 19. 19 hits, roll your damage. Well, I get, get 2d8. 
determine the type of damage. Well, no, it's 2d8 for your damage. Pick one of those oh. two die to determine the type. Oh, okay. Um, so, red or white? Thunder. Thunder damage? Yes. Okay. How many points total? Um, Add the die up. That's how many and then oh, whatever your bonus um, is. 14. No bonus. Okay, so 14 points? Yeah. Thunder damage. Yes. Okay. Everybody heard that. <laughs> Thunder is not quiet. Yeah. Everybody heard that. Merry Christmas! Boom! <laughs> See Scourge behind going. <laughs> the Christmas cannon has and been actually, lit. And there's a little bit of snow coming down on some, from some of the roofs right in the vicinity, just from the, the shock. You've had your action. Are you moving or anything? Uh, Bonus action. Speaking of which, uh, free or reference, just in case. Uh, Things you can do on your turn. Okay. Yes, I'm going to use tempestuous magic. Where I can fly up to ten feet without provoking opportunity attack. Do you nice. have to cast that, or no. is it an ability? It's a, it's a bonus action. Okay. So. Shh. Can't remember, I remember that's an ability. Let's see. Well, I can always click and find out. It is an ability. Um, yeah, it's. We're good. 30 feet, you said, right? I can fly up to 10 feet. Oh, 10 feet, okay. So, that's 15. There, well, there's people there. Yeah, I know. That's still 15 feet. Do I still get my movement? Yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter what order you take things in. It's okay. You can do it all on your, your turn. So, 5, 10 for and my... Then, okay. Hold on. And then you're going to take your Tempestuous? No, that is that is my Tempestuous. Okay, so you're going there. Right. And then my... See, my, I'm still within 10 feet of him, though. Yeah, but he already swung, so it doesn't matter. You can only it, swing for... So you only swing you, once. Yeah. Opportunities oh, are only a reaction. Swung. Okay. See, just so, like you, they get one reaction per turn. He's already used his. It's kind of like All you're right. catching him on the back end. right there. Yeah. He, my he swung at Trezan, and while that swing is happening, you moved around. Because you got to remember, <clears throat> an entire round is just six seconds. Right. So you have to imagine all of this stuff happening together. I wasn't sure which one swung. Though. Yep. So you're okay. good. So I'm. That it? Yep, that's it. So movement action, bonus action. Yes. Okay. Burzum. All right. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh, now! <laughs> Get up here and make him pay. Oh man, he's right there. Well, I don't even need to do shit. Hit him in the knee. They yeah. hate the knee. That's right. <laughs> if he goes down on one knee, yeah. bring right. out the pain. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Give him the Herschel Walker. <laughs> Pulls out his shorts are That is uh, 17 to hit. Hits for all your damage. That is 11 points of damage. I forgot to give them their initiative bonus, but that's okay. Swing again! Alright. Oh, that's definitely going to hit. That is 23 to hit. Damage? That's another 11 points of damage. Two slashes, two solid hits. Flurry blows. Yeah! He's missing a tibia. Burn your point. <laughs> you know that floating rib? <laughs> Burn your point rolling. Yeah, I gotta click my. Here, I'll click it later. Flurry blows. Unarmed strike. Oops, excuse me. It's a. He got bashed in the head with a shovel. That is 18 to hit. Hits. Me too. That is five points of damage. Technically, I got right. swatted by a shovel. 
The second oh, one? Shit. Natural 20! Either, either, either roll it twice or roll it and double it. 6, 12 plus 4 is what, 16? 16, 16 points. Alright, that plus, uh, let's see. Monk shit. Yeah. My flurry blows. Uh, I can spend it. No, okay. I can spend it. You want to fight? I can spend fight me. <laughs> For something other than flurry blows. Yeah, where is it? Uh, A different type of action. I love those old cartoon strikes. Piece of 15 con. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, oh, oh he's minus D4. The two. Yeah, yeah, minus D4, too. What is your guy? A gnome? A fairy. I'm a two foot five fairy. With so I take your six, won't do it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's stunned until the end of yes. what, my next turn. Yep, your yeah. next turn. <laughs> What'd you do, man? Stunning strike. Stunning strike. Monk. Monk he, shit. He did some monk shit. That motherfucker ain't ass. doing shit. Wham! 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 That fuck is just like. Three? Auto, auto hit. <laughs> just rolled it. So, hang this on the shovel in that middle guy. Um, <laughs> but that, but there's, sir. there's yeah. three. Yeah, three yeah, he will stay there. That is my turn. Thank okay. you. Can do three different targets. Absolutely. He's Happy got new tunes going on in his head. <laughs> dun, three. Dun, 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 dun. Raja. Merry go round broke down. All right, Raja's Raja. Up. Cast second level magic weapon. Pow to the great sword. Okay. It now strikes as a plus one weapon. Okay. And he is going to turn around with this backstabbing motherfucker. The stunned one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and he is going to swing twice. Swing batter. Now, does he get advantage because he's stunned? Uh, technically. Oh, yeah. Righteous. He can't react, defend, nothing. So he, he's basically drunken stupor trying to stand up. Where my baby? Joe Frazier, you thought you were so bad, but now look at you. 19 plus. <laughs> All right. It's not my fault he's ugly. Damage for the great oh, sword is 2d6 plus 4. It's fantastic. You know. So bomb plus one now because it's magic, right? Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. 2d6 plus five. Yep. I can't believe that. And I do believe I'm going to smile. How run slow? <laughs> All right. So that's six plus five is Wait. 11. Is magic weapon concentration? I think it is. Only I'm, just, up I'm just trying to remember. I think it is. Yeah, I. I yeah, it think is concentration. It is. All right. My voice might doesn't burn. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm just trying to keep up with everything going on. Yep. I shall burn a first level spell slot for smite. Let's put that on burn the that. paladin. Roll them and combine them. And read them their rights. Where is smite? That's another 2d8. What, who is this Miranda you speak of? <laughs> What was the Schwarzenegger movie where he goes, you heard of Miranda, and they just start <laughs> beating on the man. Uh, that is another uh, 10 points of radiant hero? damage. On top of? On top of the 11 yeah. points of... So 21 points all together? 21 points all together. And that's attack number one. <laughs> all right. What other monster are you going to hit? I'm gonna hit him a second time because what other oh. monster are you going to hit? <laughs> oh, nice. Took him down. Bam! Like chap. All these the runaway dogs down. start grabbing chunks to five, your head. Ten. And fifteen. <coughs> to engage there. Alright. Fourteen or a fifteen, I'll take the fifteen. Oh wait, it's, what? I don't get advantage on that one. No, you don't. I'll take the fourteen since it was the lower of the two. Misses. 
Ah, uh, well, that's just the raw die roll. Oh, okay. So, 14 plus 7, 21. Hits. Yeah. Seven. Anything more than one. Uh -huh. All right. 2d6 plus 5. 16. Uh, is that 16? Yeah, 16. And I shall spend another spell, first level spell slot, and smite! Another 2d8 radiant on top of that, which is another five points of radiant damage. Okay. So all together, 16 plus 5, 21. Okay. And that is it for his move. He is done. Okay. As you do that, now the orbs the orbs have some, uh, some sort of right, we go to the uh, second round posthumous <coughs> technically it'd be post-mortem but they're already dead Trying so it's ex post-mortem ex post-mortem post be a trick Or post post mortem. Can you have two posts? I mean, if you bring someone back right. from the dead. As you make that last smite, yeah. all of the light around you, street lamps, light from the window, all of it, gone. All that light is gone. Anybody with a glowy weapon? Well, and um, Maya had a glowy weapon, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, checking see. at the. Uh, Could I use prestidigitation to light the ones near me? Wait your turn. Uh, Maya would cast light on her weapon. Just that would be an action uh, to make that happen. I'm just asking if anybody has a glowy weapon. Actually, she would have had a glowy weapon because okay. without that, she can't see at night. The light from her weapon is also gone. Oh. Just the light. I mean, you can see the weapon itself, mm -hmm. and it is brighter than the surrounding things, but the glow that it was normally giving off yep. is gone. Just okay. the weapon itself is lit. Think of, uh, think of like a glow stick that's about to die. It's not casting any light, but it's still lit from within. Her weapon is in a similar state. Anybody else with glowy weapon? Uh, I thought my... Uh, no? What do you mean by no. just a glowy uh, weapon? A magical weapon. Some of them, when you draw them, they glow or give off light or whatever. Magical weapons, yeah. But they, they do they give off light when they're drawn? Okay, yeah, you're fine. Glowy weapon. Yeah, gotcha. I, I atta uh, This says, okay, I weave together threads of shadow... So I'm guessing this is not a glowy weapon, no, but wow. it says, in addition, when you use a sword to attack a target that That's is your in spell? dim light, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, spell. It's I roll spell. with advantage. How much of an advantage do I get? Advantage, you advantage roll twice and period. You roll take twice higher, and take the higher roll. That's advantage. It's not like a plus to your roll. It's just you roll twice and take the higher roll. So I technically I could have smacked that guy twice. Okay. Well, well it's not dim until now. It it, it gives only... you a better chance at succeeding on it. All right. The streetlights and everything are out now. All right. At the end of the turn, the end of the first round, because, uh, uh, oh, crap. Raja. I don't remember who was last now. Raja was last. So, last to the bottom of the initiative. We started a new turn now, a new round. All of the natural light, uh, fires, candles, torches, that kind of thing, gone. Any magical light cast by an object, gone. The object is still glowing. Like that's why I gave the example of a nearly dead light, uh, chemical light stick. It doesn't throw light anywhere, but you can still see that it's glowing. That's what the weapon is now doing. Normally her weapon would cast light for like 10 feet and 10 feet or something. 
15 feet or whatever it was. 20, 20, 20, 20 yeah. I think yeah. it is. Normally you could pull it out and it would work as an area light. Not doing that now. All of that light's gone. Even the light from the window behind the spirit and Scrooge, gone. All you've got now is nighttime sky. It is basically dark. I'm okay with that. Not pitch black, but absolutely dark enough that those without night vision are going to have a problem. Yep. Top of the order. Joy. Action. Yeah, hang on. Uh, <laughs> double checking something now because you're... Oh. Yeah, I kind of screwed things. Yeah, a little bit. But just curious, uh, would heightened senses kind of assist with... What does it say? Keen smell. Uh, advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on smell. Could I? Not really. I, I couldn't uh, try and hunt this thing down by smell. In the depth of winter with a sniffly nose? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you were a creature normally made to smell, hunt by smell, <laughs> something like an orc, for example, uh, probably, but you're a fairy. Right, I know that. But I'm, uh, I'm not going to be for long. That's for long. What you doing? Okay. I am... I'm going to have a little fun here. <laughs> so... Do it. it. I'm, uh, I'm flying uh, right now. So I'm going uh, to fly 30 feet into the air. What's your arm class? 15. Oh, yeah, 15. Does an eight hit? Miss. <laughs> okay, you fly into the air. All right. Should have rolled my. But uh, I'm a, I'm above him, right? I'm going to uh, wild shape into a saber toothed tiger. Okay. And I'm gonna be plummeting and use my claw attack at the very end, which I can use because I'm uh, going twenty feet in a straight line. Well, hold on. What's I can use back? pounce. Okay. Well, back up again. You are already in front of him. Mm -hmm. You flew up 15 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet. You flew up 30 feet. You wild shaped. Mm -hmm. You're falling straight down. Yep. I'll take the uh, the fall damage. Okay. He's gonna zack you the mooch him. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets a little bonus thing because he's moving 20 feet in a straight line which happens to be down. Yeah, it's only 4 points. Okay, 4 points of damage. Okay. And I will do a claw attack. Okay, so you hit the ground. Uh, I'm I'm okay. aiming for, uh, for him okay. on the claw Again, attack. you went straight up. You wild shaped. There was nothing there for you to push off of. You are now falling straight down. You don't have a choice. There's there's nothing to push off of to change your direction. So your cat, you're now a cat falling down. You hit the ground in front of the guy, taking four points. I yes. know what you're trying to do, but that's not how gravity works. I mean, if, if you, uh, I'm just, if, if the way have, I read it though, if there, uh, if the tiger moves at least twenty feet straight towards a creature, well, that's the thing. You're not moving towards a creature. You're moving towards the ground. The creature happens to be next to the space in the ground that you're. I think what he's trying to say is if you moved up and over a little bit, so you're right on top of the dude. I would have done that. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that was what. Okay. I wanted to do. I'm just being clear. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so you move up 30 feet, you said? 30 feet. And your flying speed was? 30 feet. Yeah. So you can go up 25 feet. Okay. And then over five. That's your 30 total. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you're above the creature. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of above the creature. It takes up, takes up a lot of space. You moved over it slightly. Mm -hmm. Good enough. All right. Wild shape into a cat, you're falling. And I'm 25 using... 25 feet, so make your attack. 
All right, uh, pounce. So first I make the, uh, yeah, first I make the claw attack. Sixteen to hit. Hit. All right. Uh, you'll take one, uh, two d six slashing damage plus five, which comes out to be fifteen plus two because I'm still raging. So seventeen. And I need a uh, strength saving throw from you. Sure about that? Yes. At minus four, or minus D4, because get in there. <laughs> Bang! Just remind him, yeah. oh. Does a 22 make it? 22 makes it. Damn it. I rolled a one, and a 23. <coughs> I'm going to mention their strength is probably pretty high. Next time, go for a charisma save. It's better. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but now you, uh, now you have a... Uh, a uh, size large beast. <laughs> nice. On a that... size large creature. Mm-hmm. Even the, uh, there you go. And he's raging. Hey, I like it. Okay, anything else? He can rake him with his bat claws. You've done a move. You've done... <laughs> a bonus action and an action. I was going to say, wild shape is a bonus action. And... All right. That it? Yep. All right. E, you're up. Yeah. Whoops. Let's do this. Undo. E, you're up. Right. Who's that? That's the paladin. That's me. No, that's that her. That's Nimson. That's my. I'm gonna step in front of her. Bonus action hide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Bonus action hide. Roll it. <clears throat> you can do that as a human. As a rogue, I can. Oh, Halfling. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Not the only oh, short person shit. here. What is this? Stealth. Scroll down. Ridiculously high. That's gonna be a twenty-nine. Okay. Oh, I have advantage. Hold on. Maybe I'll get better than an eighteen. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. Twenty-nine. <laughs> 29. All right. So you think you're hidden? All right. I'm gonna shoot that fucker with, uh, with my short bow. Short bow. All right. Roll it. So if I'm hidden, I get advantage. But being that I'm a half lean, I can't see shit. So is it a straight roll? You're hidden. Nice. And even if you weren't, it's still engaged with one of your, yeah. so you get advantage regardless. Can we keep these characters for later use? It's your character. Yes, yes. your character. That is... It'll be in your character. Hits. So to future campaigns. If you and you're hitting the one on the far end, right? Yep. Okay. Hits, roll your damage. All right, that is... Oh, nine plus sneak attack. Now what are you gonna do? Uh, oh yeah! Woo! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> what were you, a tiger? I'm a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Start batting the bones around. <laughs> oh, that was my bonus action. <laughs> 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 Turn. I don't need to move. Merit. <laughs> That's so good. Maya, taking the dodge action. Dodge. Because she can't see shit right now. Dodge. Where is she? She is next to toppled over dude number one in the blue and the yellow. So why can't she? She. Oh yeah, it's dark. It's dark and she's right, human so and had no light. She's taking dodge. All right. Dodge. That's it. That's her turn. Uh, paladin. Paladin. Looks like a paladin. <laughs> Talks like a paladin. Whoa. Looks like a paladin that's concentrating. Raja. Going for swing, Looks swing, like swing. Looks like a paladin that's kind of, oh my. He has a 26 hit. 26 hit? Oh yeah, that hits him. Roll to concentration. Uh, that's what? Ten? Ten or better on a con check. 
Or is it a con save? Plus three. Is it con save or con check? I think it's con check. Yeah. Yeah, so 10 or better. Uh, so natural 18, so yeah. You're good. Yeah. Holds it. Your spell stays. Can I get that to other soda? And you take, I can't see the dice. Thank you. A whole whopping eight points. Eight points. Which means I roll a one and a three. Yay. Wow. Well, then we'll see what we can do for retribution. <laughs> and... Nah. He's not going to move. He stays. Come on, move. He's down. He's Come down. Come out of my range. Trezana. Is there a clear line... For shooting lightning at this guy where I won't hit the paladin. I don't know, where are you? I'm not exactly sure myself. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> yes. All right. You can you can get around it pretty easy. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at line of sight here. It's not even going over your shoulder. It's going past your arm. I'm casting. Working deep, though. Isn't he going to hit Ebenezer? Maybe if he misses. Ooh. Ooh. As don't right. miss. Go. Well, for crazy sakes. Fine. <laughs> well, for coin sakes. Hey, there has to be a, a An 18 give and take. plus. What do I add to that? Doesn't plus matter. your spell attack Hits. bonus. Hits. Roll your damage. Hold damage. I'm for... sorry. I'm figuring this character out. Give me a freaking second here. Um, Lightning bolt 8d6. No, that's a 9, sir. Lightning bolt 8d6 damage. Oh, you're rolling it at. Oh, wait, you burned a fourth level slot. Holy shit. All right. Roll okay. it. Nine roll it or, 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 just, <gasps> or just click on the box and it'll roll for you. It's up to you. Nice. Yeah, nice. Holy cow. 29 points damage. Har, har. Hardy, har, har. <laughs> Boom! Nice. Yeah! See you later. Smell the charred marrow from here. What else? What else? You doing anything else? It's still your turn. Okay, I'm going to. What else can I do? Whatever, Whatever you want to do. You can do a little victory dance while you're there. Move. You you've taken your your action by casting the spell. Okay. You still have movement. Bonus action. Or bonus hand. action, if you have any for your character. I'm going to cast Bonfire in the street. Are the lights all the way out? Is that a bonus action spell? It's pitch black. I mean, other than other than the fact that That's it's severely action. overcast, and you think the moon might be over there. Oh. Maybe, because there might be a minor glow to the cloud, maybe. Great bonfire. But yeah, it's, it's essentially right. dark. You already burned your action. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever been out in the woods? Yes. Way out of town, middle of the night, when it's cloudy. Yes. You know how dark it is? I know exactly how dark it is. That's how dark it is. Okay, well, um... Close enough to say you can't see if you don't have night vision or, or infravision, dark vision, something. There are no light sources. Other than a cleric standing in the street with a... Stick. You don't see the really big saber tooth <laughs> with a glowing, a, glow, a luminescent, a, near, a nearly <laughs> dead chem light. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I will. Uh, I will do a victory dance. For okay. Right. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> That's it. You're badass. Um, what What would be a wise course of action other than that? <laughs> Look, we, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. We don't know yeah. these creatures, so we don't yeah. we don't know if uh, if there's some uh, something to worry about after they fall. Your guess is as good as ours, man. If you want to, I'll give you an action and use a skill, and that's something of a hint. You've got half a second or a second where you can do something. What out of your skills? You're looking at the wrong list. What out of your skills could you do in half a second or a second? Perception. Uh, I could do Arcana, Perception. Why perception are the sounds so like dark? a good one. Okay. Investigation. Investigation. That yeah, takes longer. 
Okay, well, I'm just going to do perception. Then. All right. A 21. Har har. Or the har har. You notice on the, the one that fell and the one you're standing near to, those black orbs above their backpacks are still spinning. Nice of it. It's your turn. Now you gotta do some Them so, information because yeah. the rest of the party don't know that. Um. As much as I would like to light up this place. Yeah. Um. I'll use my prestidigitation to light whatever lamps are within ten feet of me. Okay. So. happens to be a lantern hanging between those two houses technically you're close enough you light it it immediately goes out and the lights absorbed by the ball on the back of the inner sky okay um <clears throat> that's your action yep and you, you literally see the your, your spell goes out, lights the big candle in the or the wick in the lantern, and that flame just sucks into a little sphere of light and goes right into the sphere on the backpack. A little smoke that remains. It from went in and went out that fast. Yeah, I'm gonna hold there. Okay. End of turn. Yep. Burzum. Well, I notice this. Mary perception chat. All right. Alrighty. Oh, oh, that's the wrong guy. Oh, that is the champion. That would be 14. Yes. You notice her do the spell and it goes. Gotcha. Gotcha. And this is one of those orbs on this guy right here. All three of them. All right. Where is black it? orb. Put it up on top of that motherfucker and start hacking at that fucking thing. With the sword? Yep. Roll it. Oh, let's see. Right guy. That would be a dirty 20 to hit. Hits. Orb shatters. Nice. Yell the group. Destroy the orbs! And the skeleton seems to, you would have thought it was already limp, mm -hmm. goes limp -er. Ooh. Gotcha. So Anything as else? my bonus action, I will yell to the group to destroy the orbs! That's perfectly fine. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Which All one right. was that? Oh wait, I do have Which a, was that? the middle one. I do have a second action. I do have two actions. Well, you have an attack. When you take the attack action, you get two attacks. No, I get two actions. This said right here. Oh, yeah, monk, monkey. Attacks monk. per action. Yeah, so yeah. you take the attack action, you yep. get two attacks. Right. You used one, you're going to do another. Yep, you're good. Because you can move and do another attack. Oh, make me get back up again for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> right there. This one. Oh, it's going to be a little bit over right, to I got the... 40 movement. Yeah, you can get there. All right. Based All on right. what you already did. Oh, oh. Roll it again. Roll it again. Oh, that is a 22 to hit. That's orb shattered. <laughs> there you go. That's my turn. And again, that skeleton, which was kind of held up, just flops flat. Nice. Teeth fall out of its skull. That's it. I searched the skeleton. <laughs> Protection. Uh, on hearing, destroy that orb. Daxon's uh, going at uh, bite uh, bite down on the uh, on the orb. The saber tooth. Oh my! Which side are you going to move to? I'll move uh, to the left side. That gets you close enough, easy. Because you're large now. Yeah. Aren't you at the top of the order? I am. Yeah, we just went to the top of the order. But Burzum, <laughs> Burzum's not last. Or did I hit the button twice? Oh, apparently I hit the button twice. Sorry, My bad. Oh, it's a Raja. <laughs> uh, Raja. 
It's okay. Can you get two to that guy in 30? Two squares. Back one. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, cannot. You see a giant pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> 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 With an overbite. You can see the orb from where you are. As it's laying on the ground, you can see the orb. <laughs> Is your cat male or female? It, it's male. I, I don't okay, think I'm I can change, change genders. I don't think I can change genders in wild shape. <laughs> I become a female dolphin. <laughs> no, nope, doesn't have a ranged attack spell. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, Anything else? Uh, Improvise that fucking chew. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> Alright. I'll, I'll let the cat have his chew toy. So Daxon goes around, Daxon does the bite, around. rolls and the deck. deck. There you go. I'll, I'll wonder where the backstage is for the you know, radio it's, music hall. You bite, it shatters, you've got glass in your mouth, oh. then there's no glass in your mouth. And that critter basically goes limp and falls back into the snow. I give a bell cat roar. Sweet. Ugh, meow. <laughs> a He-Man battle cat roar. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I have the power! Splinter turns, <laughs> technically. Uh, has, uh, has, is there light? Is there any more light? Uh, it's still dark. It's still dark, even uh, overhead? Uh, give it. Was in the middle of the night to begin with. Does the light behind Ebenezer and all them get brighter? All right, never mind. Uh, just a never mind. perception to see if there's any more uh, any more threat. <clears throat> Feel the magic here. Nine. Or the dogs like are loose. <laughs> all right, then I will. I will end there. Okay, encounter over. Time for a short rest there, just Paladin. about. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> so as you finish with that guy, get up there. Guys, there you go. <laughs> you can see <laughs> the light in the window of what you know to be the crashing house has returned. It's backlighting the spirit who is looking at all of you, smiling almost approvingly, you would think. Um, Scrooge backs away a little bit and he looks at the spirit as he's looking in the window and he asks the spirit, who is that boy and what's wrong with him? The spirit it says nothing because lesser restoration was cast on him earlier tonight. <laughs> the spirit, as Scrooge is saying this, vanishes. Scrooge looks around. That's not him. Scrooge looks around. Doesn't see the spirit. Doesn't seem to notice you. Although he did see, apparently saw the creatures because you do recall him being terrified at one point. He had the look on his face of, oh crap, they're coming to get me. And now they're gone and he's lost. Almost looks like he's lost. He uh, staggers away from the window Staggers down the street. The fountain that you guys had run into earlier, previous game you weren't here. Uh, the fountain you broke or ran into that had the broken statue in the middle. Scrooge is there, or gets there, stops, staring at it. He's shivering slightly. I mean, he's not exactly dressed to be outside. Mutters something about how. He always meant to have that fixed. And moves along. Follow. Yep. Yep. Same. Tail him. And I'm gonna stay in my uh uh in my cat form. In my cat form, right. just okay. lumbering along. There you go. 
right. through Victorian England. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. A purple saber-toothed tiger just walking through. Scrooge is wandering. Well, not wandering. He knows his way around. I mean, it's obvious because he doesn't stop at a corner and wonder which way to turn. He makes purposeful turns when he gets places. So he seems to know where he's going. Eventually gets to the road going up the hill, goes up the switchback. Um, gets back up to his manor house. It stands open. The guardhouse is quiet. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. The gate's still open. Uh, he heads in. I'm assuming you follow. Yep. Yeah. He heads in, into the house, up the stairs, up the stairs, back into his room. He closes the door. You guys are all inside. He turns. And we're going to take break. Yay!